You're probably holding back on starting your YouTube channel today because you haven't found the perfect voice to use for your videos but that is about to change because in this video I'm going to share with you the best three AI text-to-speech voice generators for YouTubers. Let's get started. Yes, yeah, so one question that I know that might be on your mind is whether or not you can monetize content when you use AI voices. So the short answer to that is yes and you can check out what YouTube says in their policies but in a nutshell so long as you're using the AI voices to create content that is original to create content that does not violate the YouTube policies, you're able to meet the threshold set by YouTube, then you have a good chance of getting monetized. So the first one is a TTS maker and you access it by going to ttsmaker.com and then this is where you're going to paste in your text. So I already have some sample text here that we can use. So I like this one. This one has a bit of suspense and curiosity. This is what we're going to use to test this one so just copy that and then we're going to come back and paste our text here so this is what you'd ordinarily do if you have a script for your story so you just paste it here and by the way if you're enjoying the video and sure you like it and subscribe to the channel i do enjoy all the love and support let's continue and then you choose the language so we have uh several languages that you can use here yeah so we're just going to go with english and then you select a voice yeah, and we have many voices to choose from here. Then you can listen to the example. TTS Maker is a free text-to-speech tool that provides speech synthesis services. Yeah, so I like this one. We can use this one. So just click on that. TTS Maker is a free text-to-speech. Okay, so now we've chosen the voice. Now we have to enter in the capture code here. So it's just this code here. And then you can convert to speech. Yeah, in case the code has expired, then you can just put in the new code that comes. Yeah, so we have the text to speech being converted. The letter arrived on a rainy Thursday morning. The letter arrived on a rainy Thursday morning. No return address, no name on the front, just a single word scrawled in black ink. Yeah, so if you really like a voice, then you can opt for one of the paid characters, but then you still have your free ones in case you want to use those ones. So the second tool is VoiceMaker, and you access it by going to voicemaker.in. Yeah, and just like the other one, you just paste in your text here. But then this one now has uh, like a limit of 250 characters yeah so so long as you want to create something which has uh, less than 250 characters then you can use that but let's look at their pricing first before we even convert yeah you can see that we have the free plan which has up to 250 characters per convert but you also have the startup plan for five dollars per month yeah so let's see the other features here whether or not you can use them commercially yeah, so you can see for the first one here, if we create that, we can only use it for personal use. But if we go to the second plan here, which is the starter, then we are able to use that uh, personally and commercially. And then we have the other plans here. Yeah, so that's important for you to check uh, whether when you use the free plan, whether you're able to use your audio commercially. Yeah, so let's just convert this and listen to it. We need to find a voice. So we have pro voices and we have default voices. Let's check out some of the default ones. So you could search by language, you could search by gender. So let's go with one of these voices here. Let me search for a male voice. Let's listen to this one. Good afternoon. I am capable of reading any... Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, this one I'd listened to earlier, Alexander. Let's see if I can find him. Yeah, let's submit this one and then we can convert this. The other settings that you can make here, but let's just go with the default. So we click on convert to speech. Lady Alara was no stranger to the throne room. She had been raised in its cold marble halls where the whispers of courtiers and the clink of armor were the only music she ever knew. Yeah, so I really like that voice. I think it sounds more natural. Yeah, so that is Alexander. Yeah, in case you want to use it for one of your creations, we also have some other AI voices here um, that you'd be able to select from. And you just listen to them until you find one that you like, of course, depending on the plan that you're on. And now on to the third one, which is actually my favorite. So this one is 11 Labs. And I'm always recommending um, for people to use 11 Labs because I think it's really powerful. And the voices are also natural sounding. So I'm going to leave the links to this in the description section down below so that you're able to check out the different tools. Yeah, so if you don't have an account, you can use the link in the description. 
to sign up for one so i'm just going to go to where it says go to app here for us to be able to access our dashboard so this is what it looks like and we're on the home page now and you can see we have some suggestions here for what we probably want to use our voiceover for so you have instant speech you have audiobook you have ai agent and so on so if you look on the left hand side here we have home and then we have voices so here we have um, other voices that you can use so we have water sort of your voices you can also go to the library section to be able to uh, find like so many other voices and once you like a voice then you can just add it to be able to use it yeah so how to convert your text just go to where it says text to speech here yeah and then we're going to get one of our um, text here so let me see if I can find one to use or we can just use the same one we've been using. Yeah, just come back to 11 labs here, just paste it. And then you can choose a voice so you have many voices here so you have what you've recently used you have uh, the voice library i like this one so this is the one we're going to use so you just double click it and now you can see this is our voice now so you just click on generate speech lady alara was no stranger to the throne room she had been raised in its cold marble halls where the whispers of courtiers and the clink of armor were the only music she ever knew yeah, I think that is really, really good. Yeah, so Lily is uh, doing like uh, narration voices and that's the best thing about Eleven Labs that it tells you how you can use the voice. You can see Lily's narration, you can see Daniel's news, you can see Calambi's characters, you have um, others here, Harrison, Gail is narrative and story. So I think I really like that about Eleven Labs. So once you're done generating your audio, you can just download it. In case you can't find it, just go to history here and you can be able to find it and just download download it yeah so you can just download it um uh, in whatever format that you want to use it in so you can also create sound effects using 11 labs so if you go to where it says sound effects here and just write in um like the sound effect that you're looking for for example we could say that you're looking for the sound of heavy downpour yeah so just click on generate sound effects and you have your different generations here there are four of them so you choose one let's listen to them Okay. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, so I think I'd probably go with this uh, third generation here. So when you want to use it, you just download it and you can be able to use it in your videos. Yeah, and there's so many other things that you can do with 11 Labs. I have an entire video dedicated to how to use 11 Labs. You can check it out. So I also wanted to show you the pricing for 11 Labs just for you to also appreciate the plans they have. So we have the free plan here. You have about 10,000 credits per month, which is about um, 10 minutes of audio. And then you have the startup plan which is five dollars per month then you have thirty thousand credits per month which i think you can be able to create some really good um voiceover using that the good thing about that startup plan is that you can also use it um commercially yeah so that's something that you'd want to note then you have the creator plan for if you want to do um like a lot of voiceover then i think the creator plan is um a favorite for many people yeah so those are three tools that you can start creating your voiceovers with for free and as you continue you can just upgrade once you learn how to use them let me know in the comments down below what kind of projects you're using for your voiceovers and sure you subscribe to the channel for more content like this my name is Perry and I'll catch you on the next one.